We're going to talk about the BIM method, the Building Information Modeling method of walls and why they are as thick as they are. Some architectural drawings draw an interior wall, a stud wall, a 2 by 4 wall at 4 inches wide. The true width of a 2 by 4 is 3.5 inches and typically if it's an interior wall it might have jit board on each side. Each piece of jit board is 5.5 inches and so total, and if it's on both sides, the total width of that wall is 4.5 inches. So either the wall is 4.5 inches or 3.5 inches but some architectural draftsmen draw it at 4 inches just for simplicity's sake. In the building information modeling process we need to be very accurate about what we draw. So as an example this wall, this 2 by 4 wall is actually 3.5 inches thick and we have to be accurate about that and you can we can actually demonstrate some of the inaccuracies of drawing a four inch wall. If you're a draftsman and you typically draft in dimension to the bottom of a wall, so you start at a outside and you go to the bottom of the wall, bottom of the wall, bottom of the wall, you have a string of dimensions. And so it's three foot six and a half. And in some cases you get to a point where you dimension the same wall but it's a little bit more convenient to dimension the corner, the top corner rather than the inside corner because it's close to the dimension. Or if you had a little hallway and you needed to dimension the width of the hallway, you don't necessarily go from the bottom of the wall to the bottom of the wall. You'd draft from the, you'd draw your dimension in the uh, clear area. And so if your wall was four inches and you had a dimension, that dimension one side of it and another side of it, you're leaving the decision of where to actually draw that wall a half inch this way or a half inch that way to the person actually laying out the wall. And that's not the job of the person laying that out. They need to receive the dimensions from the architect or draftsman to make the accurate placement. So you have to have a three and a half inch wall if you come across this condition where you dimension one edge of the wall or the other so because you have to have that accurate uh, dimension. Another issue that's a little bit more serious if you draw a four inch wall rather than a three and a half inch wall is this condition of the overall uh, project. If you had a common wall running all the way throughout your house and it bumps the foundation out. So as an example, I have a wall here that's consistent throughout the entire house. It goes from the very front to the very back, which is a common uh, thing for a skinnier house. And so this wall is dimensioned from the outside to the outside. So I dimension this uh, edge of the slab from this wall. And if we continue to watch this wall go up, transitions from a 2 by 4 to a 2 by 6 and it comes to this edge and now the right edge of the foundation is a uh, dimensioned to the corner. So if I draw it three and a half inches it is accurate because I'm dimensioning one side of the wall and then the other. If it's four inches, a four inch wall, there is a half inch issue uh, of where you're actually pouring your foundation. And so if you have a four inch wall running through this wall, there's going to be either a half inch mistake when you're pouring your slab here, or there's going to be a half inch mistake on this edge. So keep in mind when you're doing building information modeling, we need to have the exact width correct when we draw, and that actually reduces some of the issues, some of the errors that are made by using a 4-inch wall in some 2D drafting uh, purposes.